Hey everybody, welcome back to Matic Models. This week, I'm gonna be taking a piece of concept art and turning it into a real life model. Uh, my inspiration for this ship is uh, a piece of concept art designed by Andy Barry uh, for a personal project called The Captain's Game. Um, it's uh, the model that I'm building here is based loosely off uh, the exploration ship Pertinacity. And that's pretty much all I know about it. I saw the artwork a few years ago and I've just had it in my inspiration bin floating around. I always wanted to kind of build a scale model of this ship or as close as I could. It's kind of a cartoony ship. If you, if you do look it up, there's some really, really great artwork that uh, Andy has done. So uh, I will link his art page down below if you want to check out the original and what I'm kind of designing it off of. And uh, basically the beginning of the design process, I'm, I'm, building, I'm building all the structure of the ship in Tinkercad. Uh, that way I can 3D print them. I thought it'd be a perfect use for the 3D printer. And I built it in sections here so that I can print them in sections. And you can see in the slicing software here, just the lower part of the main structure. And that way, uh, if anything goes wrong, I can fix that file before moving on to the next one. Um, and like a print like this, took um, you know three or four hours so if it was any taller than that um, it would take even longer and if one thing goes wrong then you have to start again so I like printing in sections it also makes it easier to hollow them out and just give it a quick wash I prefer isopropyl alcohol to wash my parts in and before I cure, I, I like to take the structure, uh, support structure off uh, before. It's much more pliable uh, before it cures. When it cures, it's, it's very rigid and snaps and goes all over the place. So I like to take it out uh, before I cure in the UV light. And then just putting together some of the interior details that I thought would give it a little bit more life and character. Here's the radar tower. Printed all that separately just because too hard to print those angles all in one. And now it's just a matter of putting it all together. Here's the crane printed in pieces just so I could get better detail and fit together pretty well without having to do much filing. There we go. And this part, uh, I have made hulls before and I use XPS foam insulation and basically I make templates first that's a top-down template and I'm gonna cut out blanks and stack them on top of each other and I'll build up I'll build up the body of the ship this way everything together with styro glue and here's the side profile and when we cut that out we'll have a pretty nice blank for a ship hull that will need to be kind of smoothed out of course did have a moment of disaster here
So I tried to salvage what I could and I'm using the hot wire foam cutter here to kind of refine the shape of the hull before sanding. Ultimately, I, uh, I do end up remaking all of this because I wasn't happy with how it was turning out. But once I had the shape I, I wanted, I covered the entire thing in this mixture of Mod Podge and water. So ultimately, I wasn't happy with the original hull that I made. Uh, just too many, too many things went wrong, so I decided to rebuild it. Uh, it's the exact same thing, the exact same process, just in purple. Now I'm just going back over, sanding and reapplying until it's a thick enough layer that I feel like the foam will be protected and nice and smooth. I wanted to prime it with Vallejo's black primer first, just to make sure I could see where everything, make sure everything was covered. And then I go back over it just with a, a light gray. So it would kind of match the rest of the pieces. I really wanted it to all blend together. And then it's just a matter of assembling and putting the ship all together. I'm really happy with how this model came out. Obviously there's a lot more work to do, but uh, stay tuned for the next episode and you'll see this thing really come to life. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. Bye.